Hey everyone, it's your boy Hash and welcome back to my channel. So today we are in India. Before we start the day, I just want to show you a glimpse of my trip going here and paano ako naligaw and paano nadelay yung hotel check-in ko by like 3 hours because I missed my stop sa train station. So this is one of India's train stations and and I'm in the two log. So I'm pretty sure they're waiting for their train. So I took a train, I missed my stop and the next stop was 80 kilometers from kung saan ako dapat. I left the place at around 8 a.m. in the Philippines yesterday. I haven't been to a bed yet. It was just um, road, airplane, airport, airplane again because there was a layover. Then uh, waiting again because the earliest train was several hours after my landing. So kumuha ako ng taxi. It's kind of hard here because not every city has Uber. Even taxis. Very hassle and mahirap magbiyahe dito. It's pretty tricky to travel here if you don't know what you're doing or and if you've never been here before. Uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. Since I'm at the ko for the past two days, na uh, in room dining ako dito sa hotel and reasonable yung price kasi I'll show you. This is actually good for two people pero isa lang ako eh. So yeah. I'll show you guys what I got. So wow. That is the buttered chicken. It's like one of the most famous dishes dito sa India. Naan bread. Parang parang hobo sa Bahrain pero medyo iba to. And it comes with roti. And then iced tea. Lahat to, this is kasi a 5 star hotel I think. Was 1,400 pesos. I mean, mahal yan, pero for a hotel, reasonable yung price compared to sa bansa. But yeah, India is very cheap. Yung Uber parang 60, 70 pesos, 10, 15 minutes away yung drive. Mura, no? Tanaga yan sa Philippines. Taste test. Grabe na ng chicken, no? It's just like falling off. Tasty. Masarap. It's like really creamy. Hindi spicy. Sakto lang yung. May konting kick lang. Nag order ko dito para. Hindi sa mga chan ko. Ayan, tapos na ako sa pagkain. Wow. Ang dami nito, sobra. It's good for two people. Naubos ko lang kasi. Di ba pala ako kumakain ng lunch. So, super hungry. Ito, hindi mo siya nagustuhan. Parang, parang chips. Ito yung non-bread. Unlock na tapos ko. Naubos ka na. It's like 1,400 for, for two people. Pag normal dinner lang, hindi ko kaya ubos yung mag-isa. Let's fast forward to tomorrow. Sana hindi sa mga chan ko. Kaya kumain ako ng pagkain sa hotel para uh, malinis. I don't know kung ano nag-cause sa akin yung ngayon. Pero kahapon kasi may kinain ako. Yung pag sinaserve sa akin, hawak ng tao. Eh hindi ko lang kung malinis kamay niya. Tapos sa luto ng tinapay, may nakita akong buhok. So I don't know like how clean it was. Baka yan ang nag-cause sa akin na medyo sumakachan ko today. Yung kahapon hindi ko alam bakit medyo masakit rin. Pero first time ako naging ganto ha. Kasi kumain ako ng mga like street food sa Bangkok, Vietnam, sa Philippines. Hindi pa to street food. Pero masarap yung pagkain. I, everything here so far is like really nice. And I don't regret anything. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow if I'm still fine. I want to do like a street food for a day challenge here. Pero hindi ko alam kung kakayanan ng chan ko. And then my flight will be the next day. Baka sa airplane, nasa toilet tang ako, hindi na ako nalabas. Anyway, let's go to tomorrow. Okay, so medyo maingay dito but papagupit lang ako. Grabe, no? Hi. Uh, haircut and shave. Yeah, also. And here, and here very little. It's very little. Shaving. Uh, here short. Here shave. So the haircut here was 400 rupees, which is like 270 pesos or five dollars. It's a bit expensive because in the Philippines, ng panahon ko, it used to be like 50 pesos, which is like a dollar or less. But I heard lately it's around like 100 pesos, which is double that. So I don't really know the prices for shaving in the Philippines because when I go to the barber, I just get a haircut. Shaving, I just do at home. Excuse me, like this, how much? If like this, how much? 200, 200. Or you just have to say that you're fine. 
fine, when you're not Ooh. really fine. So around this part, I'm not sure if you noticed, but my face is in a bit of pain because I think there were small cuts. So when he reapplied the shaving cream to shave it again, it kind of stung a bit almost everywhere around my cheeks. But they're very, very small, so they heal fast and sometimes they don't even bleed. One of my problems here was his hand smelled a little weird and his hand was constantly on my nose so I kept taking long breaths and holding it in. I'm not sure kung napapansin niyo around these parts. So I saw them massaging this other guy with this machine, so I said, I to try it. So much of you can notice here, but my eyes are like really, really weird. It's because it's vibrating so fast that when it's near my eyes, everything's blurry. It's like, you know when you have glass in your move, but everything gets so blurry, so I'm like, is something wrong with my eyes? So I'm checking, is one clear or, you know? But not just the vibration, it's so fast that I guess my eyes is also vibrating somehow. I don't know if that's safe. So you can see he sticks his finger in my ear and he really digs it in. And it felt so uncomfortable. So all in all, they charged me 700 rupees, which is like 460, 470 pesos. I think it's a bit expensive, especially because India is as cheap or if not even cheaper than the Philippines. So I think it's a bit expensive. I think they, I think they overcharge me because I look like a, I'm a tourist. <laughs> this is the finished look. Wala na akong choice nung ginawa niya dito kasi baga shave niya. Sabi ko, ang iksi. Sabi niya, it's okay? So I'm like, I guess it's okay wala na akong magagawa because it's already super super short next start siya. Hindi ko naisip na he would that short. You can see medyo namumula yung itong part medyo na mamaga. Scratch or push it a bit hard. Like bumps and it turns a little pinkish red some areas from I guess being irritated because of very sensitive skin. So I don't know what this is. Sabi lang ng driver this is like street food. Okay. Let's try. Hmm. Brown potato. Na something. Na medyo, medyo lang spicy. Uh, hot. <laughs> this tastes good naman. I wanted to say like what's inside but I really don't know. Spring onion ata. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. Let's go to the Okay, so now we're going to get fruit because it's nice to get fruit here in India. So the price per kilo of pomegranate is 100 pesos. Lang. I don't know if I can get it there. I don't know if I can get it there. It's $100 per kilo. And the pomegranate is nice, although it's a bit small. So I want to get other products. So it's the next day. This is the gupit. I just don't like how short this was. And this is not here. It's a bit lower here. Oh, no. And this is a bit high. Also, I don't like that. Parang he shaved a bit much here. It's a bit weird. So it looks a bit weird. 
when I video called Alexis kagabi, sabi niya, ang ganda ng gupit mo. I think it's fine. I'm just glad he didn't cut too much. Because it's fine if he didn't cut enough, just don't cut too much. Because pag sumobra, hindi ko maayos yung buhok ko. Pag kulang, may way naman para ayusin. But, so here, ipapatubo ko pa. Um, you can see in the video, as soon as he shaved, gumunin mata ko. And then I was like, I didn't mean this short. Parang halos kalbo na kasi nakita mo yung scalp ko. And then, he, then he's like, it's okay? And I'm like thinking, I don't have much of a choice. You know, um, I guess it's okay. I, I can't do anything because I, I thought he would cut a little longer than that. That was like too short, but it's fine. So one of the reasons I came here to India was may na comment sa Korean street food ko at na try mo naman yung street food sa India. And I do see it a lot. So I ko, you know, I'm gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. So I booked my ticket and everything. But everyone kept warning me, like really, even even doctor nang kasabi sa akin, be careful, kasi kahit too big nila can be dangerous. So get yung bottled water na may brand or yung sa hotel. Sabi ni Doc Pao. Sabi ni Doc Pao, we can just drink soft drinks na lang. <laughs> doctor nag nagrecommend uminom ng soft drinks. Some of their water has been like I think contaminated. So di niya alam ganon kasi. Everyone was warning me, my sisters, si Alexis, you know, don't eat. Ng sobrang 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 madumi. Parang ako, I, I was like thinking, you know what? I'm, I think I think it's okay to, for me to try. But here, I just got here. I didn't even start eating street food, and my stomach felt weird. Like for the first two or three days, I was in the toilet like three times a day. Or maybe because sobrang maganda diet ko that I couldn't really go out much. I really wanted to do a full video of street food, but malapit na yung flight ko, so I don't want to have a very very upset stomach in the flight and spend it all in the toilet when I could be sleeping. So let's talk about this mango. I was looking for pasalubong because I know my family loves mangoes from India. And in India they have like lots of varieties. So this one was only 100 pesos. Mamay, let's try natin yan. It says best quality daw. Tingnan natin. Nagulat ako kasi it's so cheap, 100 pesos per kilogram. Also in pomegranate, it's I tried it, it's it's good. It's only 100 pesos per kilogram, so so I think four or five of this is like 100 pesos only, two dollars. It's so cheap. Mom would like this, and uh, so I bought a bunch. So uh, second different store is, I said, what's the best mango you have? Which one is best mango? And then he points at this. So I'm like, may iba ba siyang mango? Like it's some are bigger, some look nicer. So I'm like, is he trying to fool me or something? So uh, I'm like, okay, you sure this is the best? Said, yes, it's best, best. So I said, okay, how much is it? 1,000 rupees for one dozen. That's like 700 pesos, 12 dollars for 12 pieces. So it's like 55 for each piece. And usually, the larger the mango, the nicer it is because there's more mango to eat. This will have seeds, so it's like very, very small. So I thought he's like, oh, it's a tourist, let's up the price. So I'm like, oh, never mind. So I go to a different stall. They don't have, they were saying it's out of season. I'm like, hmm. The name of this is Alfonso Mango. So I checked on Google. Alfonso Mango Price India. Each road, it can be anywhere between 200 to 1,000 rupees. But I think because it's out of season, they just jacked up the prices. So if it's like 200, I think it's very cheap. I would probably buy a bunch of this if I lived here. So I was like, okay, a thousand rupees. That's kind of expensive. One kilo is 150 rupees. One dozen is 10 times the price. So I said, okay, you know, I'm gonna check other stalls. I really, really didn't want to buy this, but I was like, can I really go back home thinking um, this is like the best mango India might have? And I never even tried it. And I love mangoes, especially the Philippine mango. Yung I'm not sure yung mga tagong Carabao mango. But yeah, it's really good. Ang gusto ko rin ng Taiwan mango, the large. So, sabi ko, okay, balik tayo. I'm gonna buy. So, okay. Finally, enough talking. I asked for a knife, but they just gave me a bread knife. Wala kong gagawin dyan, so. Smells nice, but it doesn't smell like it's gonna be super sweet. Okay, so this is one of India's, not India's most expensive mango. Similar to yung mango in the Philippines. But this is like less sweet and the texture is a bit harder, a bit thicker. It's nice. It's nice, but I don't know if it's worth the price. In the Philippines, nakahanap kami ng magandang mango for like, 120, 140 per kilo. I like eating mango this way. I don't know, it tastes better, I think. Okay, 
Okay, pag green, more sour, a bit harder, but it's not. It doesn't have much taste. Finally, we're gonna go to the best quality meat without. <clears throat> and so cheap. So if it's nice, then good. It smells like the mango in the Philippines, the Indian mango. If you're in the Philippines, it gets ve it's very small. Like the shape of the Alfonso mango. <sighs> Here, pang balat. Okay, so. There it is. I'll take a big bite. Ito kung maubos ko to. Wala masyadong lasa. Texture is nice, but there's not much taste. If anyone wants to see like more travel-related videos like traveling on a budget or maximizing your points, uh, getting miles from hotel stays, hotel memberships, and all that, let me know because medyo marami na alam sa bagay na to, to get the most value out of your travels, out of your stays. So if you want something like that, I could do more. Just let me know. Kasi inisip mga tao is when you travel, it's very expensive. And yes, usually is, but there are ways where you can travel for a much, much less. There is so much value from stuff like credit card, miles. I could really go into this and help everyone like save money, get the best value out of everything. So for example, um, when I started out, may credit card ako, one of the more basic ones. I didn't really think much of it. I didn't really get much points. Now, I have other credit cards with much better benefits and it gets like so much miles, especially when you travel that in the near future, you can easily travel business class, um, stay in nice hotels. So like I have credit cards that get you points that has like good conversion rate. You can use your points to travel at almost like no cost. Some have yung welcome bonus where mag apply ka lang, you spend a certain amount within 2-3 months. You get a welcome bonus to travel like on business class to the US or I think Balikan pa I'm not sure of that. Di ko malala ni mga conversion rates but there is so much. It's like free money and credit card. And then of course the points, the miles and all that, you really stack it up. If you want to see videos like that and with more videos of traveling, let me know and I will try to work on that next time. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment what you'd like to see next if you want to see more travel related and travel hacks. And then don't forget to subscribe. Bye!